Well, more than 100 artists traveled from all over the country to be part of the Fiesta Art Fair. It happened today at the Southwest School of Art. In fact, one artist even drove four days from New York to show her work. Eyewitness News digital journalist Nia Wesley has her story. 1,847 miles. That's how far Lee Hannon drove cross country to be a part of the 45th annual Fiesta Arts Fair. It's four days of driving to get here. <laughs> Hannon custom makes Dia de los Muertos themed skulls. She came to San Antonio all the way from Norwich, New York. So I've, I've just always connected with the Southwest culture and just felt like it was the right place for me. Her work stood out among hundreds of artist booths at the fair. It's amazing. The detail is so fantastic and each unique piece yeah. You can tell that she loves what she does. Wow. Hannon's eye-catching crafts take weeks to make. They are each handmade. I use an air-drying clay. I start out by building an armature. This is a very basic one. I sculpt the first layer of clay on it, and then it's very bumpy like that. And then I have to sand it down super smooth. Then I do the next layer of clay, wait for it to dry, sand it down super smooth. And I just keep building up all of my details that way until I have all my clay done. Her prices range from $175 to $1,600. Really a labor of love for wow. sure. <laughs> the two-day fair raised money for several programs at the Southwest School of Art. So it's a great experience to just kind of think that when I came to school here that 45 years later it would be, that would actually be a venue like that would attract so many beautiful artists and you know people from all over the country. Nia Wesley, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.